Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, one simple, useful tip for all the new Jira administrators or consultants. It could be basically for anyone to be honest, because uh, even though you might be doing this Jira admin work for many years, especially if you are a Jira consultant for many years, you would still want to do this. And this video is actually for uh, for uh, admins because only admins can do it. Now in Jira, we all know that there is something called as uh, a default dashboard. And this default dashboard can actually make uh, the life of your new Jira users really, really, really uh, simple and useful because uh, no matter what kind of trainings you do for your uh, end users, they would still need some help, some guidance with uh, the tool. Now, in this in this video, I want to talk about one specific use case, one specific example where uh, this default dashboard can be super useful. Now, imagine that you have uh, set up a project for your uh, uh, users. Let us say there is a new team who just uh, started using Jira. Now, when a new team started st starts using Jira, then uh, they will, of course, uh, create some issues. Now, the thing is that in Jira, of course, when you create a new issue, you can do it from, of course, uh, the button on top. And when you create a new issue, either you can do it from the project, uh, you can go to the project and then you can create the issues and uh, all the new issues that you will create will appear somewhere in the project. Now that project can be too big. And uh, the new issues that the users will create, they might not be able to find those issues. So this is actually a very simple thing that happens all the time. And this is also true for cases where uh, you're working on, uh, let us say, agile board. And uh, when you work on those agile boards, so you may have some filter based on some, you know, field. And as that particular field could be, let us say, a pick link, right? So basically, you only want uh, all the stories and bugs and ta t tasks to appear on the board where there is an epic link. So basically, anything that is under your scope. Now, whenever the user creates the issue, if they forget, or if they don't really have the epic link filled in, they might not see the issues immediately. Now, of course, when you raise and raise a new issue in Jira, it is not really super difficult to find your own issues that you raised, because uh, you can find it by writing a simple JQL. But this video is for those uh, people, or, I mean, not really for those people who are going to raise the issues in Jira, but mainly for administrators so that you can make this onboarding experience super smooth for your uh, Jira users, basically any user who has uh, uh, absolutely no experience doing things in Jira. So what you can do is you can always uh, rely on the default dashboard and make sure on your default dashboard you have these super simple uh, dummy proof gadgets for everyone. So basically when you have uh, something like, uh, let us say some kind of introduction, right, which is important. And of course you should use the banner on top. But bare minimum, you should always have uh, something like uh, assigned to and uh, reported by. So for example, if you have all the issues assigned to the current user, and by the way, the assigned to me filter, or not filter, but this gadget on the dashboard, I believe it is there anyways, uh, in the system dashboard, if I remember correctly, or in the default dashboard, if you're on Jira cloud, but uh, the reported by me, issues are not really there. So I think you should definitely have this. And of course, uh, by doing this, I mean, for doing this, you need to first make sure that there is a filter that you create in your uh, Jira instance, you can of course, share it with everyone so that anyone can see it. That is very important because if the filter is not really shared, then uh, it won't really do anything on the dashboard. So make sure you create a filter. It the JQL could be as simple as uh, reporter is equal to current user. And it is always a good idea to also sort it. So your JQL could be reported or reporter is equal to current user and then parenthesis and then order by created and then uh, DSC, which is basically uh, descending order. And then of course, all the issues that you 
create or those users will create the list will appear on the dashboard for them to refer to and uh, make sure that the users are always aware of this uh, default dashboard i mean of course there is always some training required but the whole idea of using a tool any tool is to make it super user user friendly intuitive and of course by doing these small improvements here and there you can make the experience uh, of your end users uh good and they will hopefully not complain all right that is it that is a, that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye